Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to calculate the original price of something given the sale price and what the discount was. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have a sale price of $59.50 and a discount of 30%. So we need to find what the original price of that item was before the discount was taken off. We can do this by setting up an equation. Now I do wanna mention that there are different ways to go about these types of problems, but I'm going to use the original price times 100% minus the discount percent equals the sale price. So let's set this up for number one. Now we don't know the original price, so we are going to use a variable P to represent the original price and then plug in everything else we are given. So we have P that represents the original price times 100% minus the discount percent of 30%, well, that's going to give us 70% equals 59.50. Now, where did I get that 70%? Again, that's 100% minus the discount we're given right here, 30%. So 100% minus 30% equals 70%. Now, let's talk about what that 100% minus the discount percent means. This will give us what percent of the original price we are paying. 100% represents the full original price. And we subtract the discount percent to see what percent of the original price we are paying. So for number one, again, we did 100% minus 30%, and that gives us 70%. We are paying 70% of the original price. Now let's convert that percent to a decimal so we can move forward within our equation here. And remember, percent to decimal, move the decimal twice to the left. So the decimal comes at the end of 70, end of a whole number here, and we need to move it once, twice to the left. So again, we're converting that percent to a decimal. So let's move on here and rewrite our equation with the percent in decimal form. So we have the original price, which is a variable of P because it's an unknown, times 70% as a decimal is 70 hundredths, and that equals our sale price of 59.50. So we have a one-step equation here. We need to isolate our variable here. So we have P times 70 hundredths. What's the opposite of multiplication? Well, division. So we need to divide that side by 70 hundredths, and that's going to cancel out our 70 hundredths and isolate our variable. Now, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other in order to keep our equation balanced. So let's divide this side by 70 hundredths as well. So our variable of P, the original price, is now isolated, and we can do 5950 divided by 70 hundredths to get our original price, and that's going to give us $85. So $85 is our original price. Let's move on to number two and do another example. So we have a sale price of $112.41 and a discount of 55%. Let's find out what the original price was. So we'll set up our equation. So we have the original price times, well, 100% minus 55% gives us 45%. So we are paying 45% of the original price, and that gives us our sale price of $112.41. Let's convert our percent to a decimal by moving the decimal twice to the left. Remember, a decimal comes at the end of a whole number, so once, twice, and we get 45 hundredths. So let's rewrite this in decimal form. 
So 45 hundredths. And that gives us our sale price. We will rewrite that. And now we have a one step equation. So let's divide both sides by 45 hundredths in order to isolate our original price, that variable P. So divide by 45 hundredths. And remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So divide by 45 hundredths. And that gives us our original price. So P is now isolated and we have $112.41 divided by 45 hundredths. And that gives us $249.80. So our original price, $249.80. So there you have it. There's how you calculate the original price, given the sale price and the discount. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.